with phase one done it's time to start with phase two hopefully i don't have to do as much grinding and stuff as i just did uh like i said i got excited to play the game i should have taken a little bit of extra time to make sure i had the resources i need but i did get a jump ahead i got an uncommon uh fish i got the octopus which is pretty cool so what is our reward prepackaged advanced mining laser yes that's what i was waiting on and now we've got to make the second rendezvous point i hope it's not that far away uh message in a bottle dredge up a message oh yeah i uh, use the bait get oh release three fish back into the water catch three fish that are only active during the day and deploy the exo skiff i can't wait to get that one catch four uncommon irradiated fish where are we going then so next step let's see how far we are from the next rendezvous point one two three four i'm gonna need four more warp cells all right yeah the angler they should have named him john the fisherman is what i'm getting at that's one of my favorite primus songs and because i played that at the beginning of the stream I'm like, it's stuck in my head. It's really stuck in my head now. I wonder if anyone else is struggling like me on the uh, update. I mean, on the expedition. The fishing isn't that bad. It's getting the resources. That's the bad part. I see the little messages popping up. So it's more than likely right there. It didn't steer me in the right direction last time, though, so... I can't wait to jump in later and see all the bases placed exactly where you need to go. Let's see what... Oh, wait. It's not this? Oh, I just had to make it here. I thought there was a whole monolith thing going on, though. All right. What am I doing? I'm losing my mind now. We made it. That's what I need. I need to get my reward, which is more inventory slots and nanites. Nice. Uh, we're still good on technology, so I'll fill in this area to make it, you know more square i like doing that hey they've got the skiff i can't wait to build a boat in the game like i do in real life i swear if i had the material because you know aluminum and a welding machine and all the saws and stuff are really expensive i could legit probably build that in real life oh come on fish Wait, I need a message in a bottle, not a fish. Hello, Sky Moon. Oh, a snail? I don't need a snail. I need a message in a bottle. I also need life support. I just look back and see that. Oh, hello. Um, that thing is loud. Am I going to uh, dredge this up? I don't remember the last time I checked on Humble Bundle. I mean, at least a year ago or something. So I'm going to have to keep an eye out for that. There we go. We got the message in a bottle. Oh, okay. I got the Angler's Diary. Uh, well, what does it say? We've got to see what it says. Is this the new one? The scrap paper recovered. The rumors were true. It's out there. I can feel it. We get the fishing bait recipe. So hopefully we can get some better ones. I have the dangling orb. Wait. I can use another fish's bait? Oh, this is... Oh, this is cool. Yes. Let's catch some big fish now. Catching really... Oh, wait. I've got to hit... I've got to go with my second fishing story i said i would give fishing stories at every uh rendezvous point so fishing story <laughs> we lived on the bayou there was something we called the barge it was just this floating platform that was in the bayou and us being kids we'd like to go back with the did i do it being kids we would like to go in the backyard and fish when we could so this is when I learned of what a perch is. It's a small fish that kind of stays close to the shore. There was a spot that was open in the middle of the platform where uh, you could see a bunch of them 
just fishing around and we would just take this like hook that had three different hooks on it i'm gonna have to run to my ship it had three different hooks on it and we would just dip it in there it was like cheating the fish would just sit there and we would like cheat fishing and just pull up like 10 of them at a time so yeah but back to the uh, <laughs> the fishing story we used to mess around a lot in the backyard whenever we live by the bayou it was pretty cool it was fun can i release oh there we go one out of three no i thought it had to be on the line to release it i'm just gonna release these common ones i'm gonna keep my uncommon ones for now and i feel like i'm <laughs> phase two is gonna go a lot faster there we go the exo skiff Magpulse lure. The specialized lure designed to attract fish that are only active during storms. Oh, okay. I'm missing. Once again, I'm missing something. That's just me, though. So let me see what my other milestones are. Catch three fish that are only active during the day. Deploy the skiff. So do I need the. I'll try to go for that one next. And catch four uncommon irradiated. I mean, fishing at night isn't going to help me with the whole daytime thing, but it's something. I'm going to try to catch some to use as bait. Oh, that was a tough one. A boiled snapper. That's a shrimp. He's just a shrimp. You can't help that. High temperature water. Oh, that makes sense. Anyone in the chat? Anyone in the chat watch Smiling Friends? We got hooked on it after we found it and it's like it was right at the end of season two. Oh my god I just realized what I was doing wrong now I've got a rocket I saw an exosuit what that's what it is oh yeah I need the magnetized ferrite now I'm seeing where I was going wrong <laughs> So yeah, that'll be my next milestone, getting the skiff. Then I've got to get daytime fish and irradiated fish. So hopefully, out in the middle of the water, I can get some irradiated fish. I really hope they add an animation for a melee attack with this fishing pole. Because I would love to beat some creatures with a fishing pole. <laughs> oh, I also have another jetpack upgrade and an oxygen round. Okay. Do I have 150? Perfect. I don't have to go hunting for more materials. Oh, you can customize it too. Ooh. Yeah, that's fine. I like the color as it is. Let's see what our rewards are. Mealworms, spicy chum, and bionic. Oh, sweet. We got a lure. So, let's and there's the cold storage that's so awesome let me drop my fish in my cold storage keep them good actually i put the uncommon right there put my shrimp this is probably my favorite i like the octopus the octopus is pretty cool okay um let's go see what those bionic lures look like so they're spicy chum oh they attract legendary fish i'm not gonna mess with that just yet i want to see if i have something specific that'll say like oh yeah uh irradiated or anything no no i don't want the little fish give me the big fish i wonder if the skiff is gonna provide some protection <laughs> That asteroid just fell right by the skiff. I think it's trying to get me. Four uncommon irradiated fish. I will probably just... Alright. Only active during the day. You know what? If it's not the daytime, how about... Can I unsummon my skiff? Oh. Yeah. No. I'm going to go around the planet. I'm going to fly away. I'm going to go somewhere that's straight day daylight. 
and then we'll go from there because yeah this nighttime fishing I don't need it yet <laughs> I'll probably need it later I'll catch a few first to see kind of what happens and then I will use those orbs to see if it helps me get the daytime fish or something <laughs> lots of fish yeah I've got them stored in the ice chest right there we're good hey Matt we got a cold one we got a cold one Tangleweed? I don't need that. I was catching boots. Now I'm catching tangleweed. Yes, I got one. I only need two more. Yeah, I like the way I like the way they set up the fishing. It's simple and relaxing. It's pretty cool. I like the way it turned out. Like at first, I was kind of confused by it. I didn't see how it would fit in the game, but. I said it uh, at the beginning of the stream, the more I play and the more I thought about it, it's just, it makes sense. You find yourself a nice planet, you find yourself in a relaxing place you want to chill out at, why not fish? Why not have a little activity to do? I need one more. Oh, oh, here we go. Nope. Nope. Did I get two at least? No, I only got one. Oh, no. I only have one on fish please be a daytime fish please be a daytime fish nope I guess I gotta take my chances now okay yeah it's nighttime anyway I've gotta go to another another spot to get my one daytime fish I can't believe I need one oh it's right on the horizon yeah I, I called it at the right time I just don't know yet how to get those irradiated fish, so we'll see. Uh, now I've just got to find somewhere to land, because it looks like I am in deep Oh, no, 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 I can land right above the water now. Yes. Cool. This is cool. I like aquatic uh, landing. Let's summon the skiff. I <laughs> must be deployed on water. I am on water. There we go. Alright. Let's get some fishing done. Like I said, I need one more daytime fish. Oh, that's a milestone for another phase. I'm like... I literally did nothing. I cast out into deep water. That was its own thing. I'm not going to collect that one just yet, though. I'll wait until I get to that phase. Oh, legendary fish. The Lunker. And I wasn't using anything to catch that. I caught... See, I'm beating other phases now. I'm getting ahead of myself. Are you a daytime fish? Is it already turning to night? Did I not go far enough? I've got a little bit of time. I've got a little bit, so hopefully I can catch it. Come on, give it a bite. Come on, give it a bite. There we go. There, there it is. Daylight. That's three. That's three of them. Oh, wrong button again. So we get craftable components plan and supreme radiation protection. Oh, that's what we need to craft the lures. All right, there's only one left. We didn't finish the second phase just yet. I'll have to finish it tomorrow. I was hoping to finish everything and wipe it all out. But hey, I've got a, <laughs> I've got a reward for phase three and a reward for phase five. So that should count for something, right?